A uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you want on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week? Okay, so this week, I'm going to do the last uh, thing I need to finish up my WLED board design. So this board uh, takes up to 24 volts of DC power or USB type C power delivery, which you can configure to up to 24 volts. So this is like a high voltage, high curtain, not super high voltage, 24 volts is not super high, but it's high ish. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple amps of current uh, into the LED strips, the digital LEDs that are going to be kicked on the terminal blocks. And um, one thing is that, you know, I'm used to just saying like, oh, USB is five volts. And so if I need, 3.3 volts from that to run my microcontroller boards. I just get my standard uh, LDO and, um, you know, 500 milliamps out. I'm golden, you know, super inexpensive, very easy. Just put some caps on there and we're done. Um, but for this board, it's a little more complicated because we need to get um, 500 milliamps from three volts, but the input it can be quite high. And for the five volt power supply, we actually covered this chip on a previous great search it's an LDO that can give you about 100 milliamps max um, from up to 24 volts. And it's not just the current capability, but the heat dissipation um, because 24 volts, you know, minus five volts is about 20. And then, um, you know, you want to get 100 milliamps out of this. And before you know it, now you're dealing with two watts, which you have to dissipate. Thankfully for the five volt power supply, I don't need anywhere near 100 milliamps even. I need like three milliamps. And so, um, this SOT23 is just fine because I just need a reference voltage basically for the level shifting output. So we covered that LDO in a previous great search. What I need is a 3.3 volt step down that will give me a, enough current to drive the ESP32, which can draw like 500 million to me up to an amp uh, peak if I have uh, sensors and accessories uh, connected up to it. And the 3.3 volt is like actually powering stuff. So um, for that, I need a buck converter because I'm not gonna get some linear regulator and, and just heat, th heat sink the heck out of it. It's actually cheaper at that point because heat sinks are not cheap to get a um, buck converter that'll give me 3.3 volt at an amp-ish or more from 20 volts, 24 volts plus. And that's a little the tough part. It's easy to get like a six volt to three volt converter. There's like a billion of those. We need something that'll give us um, 24 volts. Another thing I want is it to be fairly small because this board is compact. So I don't want a massive inductor and I don't want a lot of components, uh, which means I probably want a synchronous chip. So no external diode needed. It's all you know controlling things on the, uh, the switching. It has the internal switches. Uh, for both sides of the buck conversion and high frequency so that you can use a small inductor. Usually you would use low frequency when you want better efficiency. I don't care about efficiency. This board is already drawing multiple watts of current. It's not running off a battery. Um, I'd rather have it be small and uh, efficient than sorry, like space efficient than current efficient. I don't need to save current. Also, it's definitely going to be running um, high current stuff. So I don't need low current optimization because um, it's definitely going to be drawing the ESP32. The minute you turn it on, it's drawing 50 to 100 milliamps. Okay, so let's go. So let's look at buck converter just to get to the right categories. So Voltage regulators, DC, DC converters. Um, this looks right. I want the switching regulators because I want the output to be regulated. I don't want the, I don't want just the controller. I want it to kind of have everything built in. So let's click this and then I'll, um, I'll actually just click on the whole category because it's, I, you know, the word buck, I don't actually, sometimes it's called a step down. Sometimes it's called, I don't know, something else. Um, okay. So let's look at active and um, I want synchronous. I'll do, I don't know what both means, but I'll, I want synchronous output because I want, I don't want to have an external shocky diode and I want surface mount and I want it to be maybe even just like in stock. Let's just do in stock and not marketplace. So I'm going to just, just what's available on digikey.com. 
Okay, next up, output configuration. So positive, because I want it to be 24 volts to 3.3 volts positive. So I don't need dual rail, positive, positive, or negative. A lot of converters can be, you know, a lot of chips can be con configured to be buck or boost or like buck, you know, whatever they can sometimes be. Um, set up different ways. And then number of outputs, just one. So I'll, I'll pick these out. All right, so we're down to 5,000 options, which is good. Um, next, I'm going to remove just the step up and make sure it's step down, step down, step up, whatever. But remove just the step up type. So just minimize the extraneous. All right, so the next, the thing that's the limit, you know, it's a little bit unusual, is that we want the voltage input to be 24 volts or higher. So let's select. 24 volts and up, and that will get us down to about 2,000. And then the voltage, honestly, 3.3 volts, almost everything gives you 3.3 volts. So I'm not, there's not a lot left. You know, I could start like, like I don't want flyback for sure. But I don't know how many of them are flybacks. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just select these. See what, see what happens. Yes, it's not, it doesn't get you that many. So I'm not going to deselect this. Okay. So now price, um, I'm going to be ordering about a thousand at a time because I'm usually getting like a reel. And one thing is I noticed that the least expensive ones were the three, pay, three peak. I've not used three peak before and you know, I've looked into it and it's like, they're kind of generic, uh, buck converters. I think for this one, I want to have something really reliable and like a brand name that I know. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to remove three peak from the options, which I don't usually do, but this is a, this is a case where because the least expensive ones were three peak. Um, okay. So another thing we need is the current output. Um, so these are limited at 600 milliamps. I definitely need one amp or more. So let's go to current output and let's pick between one and 10 amps. I don't need anything more than that. That's, those are going to be enormous and expensive and okay, great. So a lot of options. So looking at these, what I saw was first off, there's a couple that are fixed, which I thought was neat. Um, like this fixed version adjustable is also okay. Um, oh, voltage input minimum. I forgot to set that too. So the voltage input, because I'm using USB PD, it could be as little as five volts. So those first few were actually 10 volts minimum. I have to filter those as well. So the minimum voltage needs to be five volts or less. Cause I don't want, I am not going to always have 10 volts available. Okay, now we're talking. So voltage input 3.8 to 32 looks cool. And these popped out and I've actually um, seen these before. These are like inexpensive SOT 236s. They're super easy to use from diodes. I've used diodes, ink chips. They're definitely cheap 30 cents. So that's the thing. It's like the, the price of an LDO, you can get a buck converter. And some things I like about it is, um, it's high frequency, so 1.1 megahertz, which is nice because it needs a smaller inductor. And uh, definitely can do the current I need, two amp internal switch, which is plenty. It's, you know, like trivial to set up. You just, in a, especially with the fixed output, you just tie the feedback to the output. You just need 1.1 microfarads for the little mini booster for the that driver and that's it. Inductor, little cap in, you know, caps on both sides and you're done. So I like this series. I think I'm going to go with this, the AP 63203. Nice, compact, easy to use, buck converter, 24 volts, five to 24 volts input, 3.3 volts, one to two amp output should do the job really good. That was a great search. Where is